Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into Bitcoin. We've got the Coins Kid group. So the Fear and Greed Index is cooling off a little bit just there. Uh, last week was at 68 when we was really overextended up there, way above the daily EMAs as well. And we're sort of going sideways on them daily EMAs as well. I'm going to show you all that in a moment. But right now, it's all about holding support in this retracement. Okay. And if we can hold this key level support and we don't fall through the EMAs below, then we're looking pretty tasty to come back up and break the high and, you know, march towards that 33K target of the ascending triangle that I think we're in as well, providing we can hold the support of that technical break target. Okay. So it's good to see this sort of fear and greed cooling off a little bit as well because when this comes back in a bull market this always offers opportunity although you know no, nobody feels like it because they've been so used to the downtrend for so long that every time it comes back they just think it's going to continue and be a downtrend again and the uptrend is basically a fake out or a, a bull trap basically but you know what you do experience in in bull markets is bear traps just like in bear markets you experience bull traps so it's all about being above the key levels of resistance to confirm the uptrend and right now you know we have done that so we need to pay attention to that we have got a monthly close coming in hot uh, i think in around about four days time we'll take a look at that but we have broken above the key resistance of the 55 week ema on the weekly time frame obviously but we need to see that held as support going forward the minute we lose that i think is bearish okay and that's the truth of it so let's dive into the charts right now quickly before we dive into the bitcoin chart right now i just want to bring in the news that micro strategy here have repaid its 205 million silvergate loan at 22 percent discount as of the 23rd of march which is a few days ago my MicroStrategy acquired an additional 6,455 Bitcoins for $150 million at an average of $23,238 per Bitcoin. Wow. And held, right now, they hold 138,955 Bitcoins acquired for $4.14 billion at an average of $29,817 per Bitcoin. Bitcoin okay wow so th there is a bit of a meme with this whenever we get the news about micro strategy you know buying more Bitcoin and putting it out there we do usually see a dump and we have seen that dump so you know if anyone went, wants to code this into the charts create some kind of metric or something you know some kind of dump signal then definitely you know jump on that bandwagon right there so anyway we have seen a little bit of a dump we're going to dive into the Bitcoin chart and I'll show you something I'm looking at right now okay for Bitcoin so looking at Bitcoin on the hourly time frame then, I think we might be in front of a little drop here. I'm going to show you as to why, okay? So at the minute, what we've got is a descending triangle. We went short yesterday, rode it all the way down. I actually took profit there, okay? Because like I've said to you, technical targets are technical targets. Could easily bounce there, come back up, and you, you know, you're you losing profit, basically. So I've paid myself. Nice little trade right there for the Coins Kick crew. And at the minute, like I said to you, just wait, kick back, see what happens, see what kind of pattern emerges, and then we'll go again from there, okay? So what I was anticipating is a little break back up into the all this resistance, okay? Because you've lost it a support you can clearly see here what we have got uh, confluence of the fact that i do think in time regardless if we go again i think that we're looking at that for bitcoin and the reason is what we've got support support and equally support just there as well which was melted through without back testing of resistance so this green trend line and this white line here are on the radar now is it going to do it just yet not necessarily i think we might be looking at another drop and i think the next drop could potentially be the final drop before we do come back up and then smash all of that resistance right there so like i said to you yesterday come back down like this break down possibly some kind of little bear trap coming back up but at the minute we are sort of creating some kind of little bearish pattern here at the moment possibly uh you know a possible uh, bear pendant like this okay let me show you right now so we've got the support 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 resistance 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 getting really really close if bitcoin does start to break down i think we've got a bear pendant you know we're not necessarily going to come back up at this point like this to back test the resistance but this in my opinion will come back up in time to back test it so i'm looking for the breakdown target for you right now so i think that what we've got is a possible bear pendant from there to there and right now we're sort of consolidating we're sort of coiling up right now getting compressed we could potentially look at a, a, a further continuation of this correction coming down so this would be the technical target for me uh, around about two uh, six thousand $26,013. Now, at that point, I would expect Bitcoin to begin to come back up, backtest this resistance, okay? Now, obviously, this can go against me right now. So I'm actually looking to short Bitcoin again, you know, to break down towards this technical target. The invalidation of this right now is if it starts to come back up through these EMAs and we start to come back up, then in my opinion, you're getting your backtest of the green line and you're getting backtest of the, that previous uh, resistance, uh, previous support right there, backtest of resistance before potential another drop. So at that point, you know, this is why you always set a stop loss. So I'm always trying to find new trades. So at the minute, I would be looking, and you can clearly see it's on the cusp of something, isn't it? It's well compressed in there. So I'd be looking right now to just go short my stop loss on 27145. Minimal, absolute minimal risk trade here. You know, if this starts to break down from this point, you've got a minimal risk trade around about 0.6.5% for the potential of another little drop of around about 3.5. 
five, 2% where I would actually TP at that point for Bitcoin okay, and just wait for it to cool off and do something at that point as well. Have we got any divergence? Not any kind of bullish divergence at that point. So again, you know, if this does start to break down like this, we see another little drop down here. We could start to see this come back like this. This creates a bullish divergence. This creates a, a lower low and a high low in the RSI. And at that point, that's your entry point to come back up into all this resistance. Okay. So long into short, this is what I'm looking at as a potential opportunity right now uh, for Bitcoin. So that would be my TP at 26013 off this potential short right now with my stop loss on 27145. Okay. And at that point, I would think about Bitcoin coming back up to back test that resistance that's melted through a support. Okay. And that could be a correction in, you know, and what you've got here is a big diamond top like this. Boom, 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 boom. Break down like that. Come back down and then you start to come back up and you've got some kind of big A, B, C wave correction that starts to come back up there for Bitcoin, okay? At that point, you know, again, always TP at technical targets. That's an area that I'm looking at for Bitcoin uh, to TP on this potential short right now. And this is why I'm setting a stop loss because obviously if it starts to come up right now, it's going to break out and it's going to invalidate this technical breakdown target of a pennant that's getting really tight that's looking for continuation uh, right there for Bitcoin, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that update. Stay healthy, stay strong, stay tuned, and thank you for support. And remember, you can go long, you can go short, you can do all the sun by a bit, but please remember, because we've melted through that as support, I think that that is on the radar anyway, uh, in time regardless. Okay, take care. Back to another update on Bitcoin. Stay healthy, stay strong, stay tuned. Bye-bye.